And we say greetings, this is Kabanka Pyramid representing the Lion Voice Vlog. Make sure that them check it out and stay tuned. See? Rastafari blessings every time. Okay. Well, from to us, a son was born and a child was given. I want to ask you a question. Have you gotten your book? Ali Selassie's Ethiopia, Volume 1, The Rise of the Priest Warrior King. I've read the book in its entirety, and I must say it's very inspirational, very informative, and very, very historical, right? Then you call him Christopher when he was born, rain fall from the sky. Then you call him Christopher when he was grown in near plains he fly. They call him List of a ride, I young break the chain, weep not, don't cry. Them call him. List of a ride, read your revelation, chapter 5, verse 5. Then, born near the city of Harar, the inspiration for Bob Marley's guitar. People crowd him like some big superstar, it no matter if I'm England. Number two is the economic decision have you made a decision how are you going to fund your future these are the economic decisions that you have to make a lot of us are just going with the flow you have a nine to five job you're barely surviving or you're doing little odd jobs you're hustling or you sell little herbs or you do whatever you do have you really made an economic decision? You haven't. You're just surviving. Um, making an economic decision meaning really sit down and, and put together an economic plan for yourself. How are, how are you going to make money? How are you going to invest the money that you do have to generate? This is where I am. In, I'm on Chad. You know, I spent a lot of years um, trying to put all of the energy into collective economic efforts um, only to realize that for the collective economic to be strong the individual economics have to be strong we have to put that time individually to ensure that all of our Rastafari families have an economic foundation of themselves so that when we come together we're bringing all of these together now we become more mighty so the economic decision brethren Take the time. How much money are you spending? What is your herb budget? Are you spending all of your money on herbs? And right now with all of the legalization of your design of herb, it's thing expensive. So if you're staying in the heavens right now, how much money are you spending? Are you willing to fast? Are you willing to take that money and invest somewhere so that you can have a solid economic uh, foundation so that you have options because the economic gives you the options to move to develop everything that we want to do theoretically and make it manifest it's still going to take our economics in this re reality so the economic decision is crucial and again with the faith um, the economics and, and let me go forward to the faith all right so we talk about faith delayed gratification we talk about economic decisions number three we talk about sexual discipline that's the D discipline that's the purpose over that something there. That's all of these um, things that I've been talking about. Um, a lot of the items came to this platform because you saw the video and I never knew TV purpose over pum pum or purpose over that something there. Um, this is very key for young brethren. Fasting, if necessary, from sexual intercourse so you can focus, harness that sexual energy into manifesting your purpose and your passion and, and again creating your economic foundation changing your reality changing your vibration and your frequency the pursuit of women is very costly whether it's economic whether it's time investment is very costly so that time 
is better invested into building yourself. When you build yourself, you will have the choice of many beautiful princesses, you know, because they'll be attracted to the work. And we've done videos about vetting your princess via your works. So you can go forward to that. Um, but the sexual discipline, again, the value of decision. We are in a time, the most sexualized time. I was scrolling through my timeline. Who's that? When we see Shensia wind up ourselves. If you are a young virgin looking at all of these things, these are so distracting because if you are a virgin, of course, you see a beautiful black woman dealing with certain things, you're going to be intrigued. However, we have to exercise that discipline now. One of the greatest things I did was do a fast from that as a young ras, which led Ayman to make the decision even to be with Ayman Queen. And that was one of the greatest decisions I made. Had I not done that, I could have gone another direction, you know, because of lost our different things so being able to really have that discipline and think clearly uh you know you using the mission as the ultimate vetting you know the goals your goals your your desired outcomes using that as your ultimate framework to vet who will receive the honor of sharing the marriage bed with you and remember the marriage bed is sacred so all of the things them where you want to do out there, you can do them when you're married, but take the time to really vet that person, get yourself together so that we can do it within the context of the black family, building the black family, building the black nation. And it's not just out there creating trauma and, you know, confusion. So sexual discipline is number three. Number four. Well, Eile Selassie, the first of the Almighty, and this is the Charles March Kwasi. And I and I continue to chant for the black family. Well, holy for African princess and African queens are out there lonely. We tell them seek the most high, and all things shall be added. She said she read Proverbs 31, and this is what she told me. What? She said she lonely. And it's I, she needs, she want to hold me She want I to lead, she said her soul told her She need a king to please, she getting old plus She don't know the things she sees, she says she lonely And it's I, she needs, she want to hold me She want I to lead, she said her soul told her She need a king to please, she getting old plus She don't know the things she sees Energy now feminine, but she was a feminist Now she start to have regrets, every time she reminisce Remember when she had a man, left him over pettiness Now she look into her heart, heart is filled with heaviness Everybody wanna know who burden is the heaviest Everybody want a little love, but some not ready yet She act tough when she know her 